Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe Peanuts and Cracker Jacks from the Mitten Brewing Company is the one for you. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Jessica, and I made a bad decision. <laughs> so today we are going to check out Peanuts and Cracker Jacks. When this first came out, we wanted it. Couldn't find it, so we went up to New Holland over the weekend, and then we decided to make a little stop on the way back into Grand Rapids to go to the Mitten. They well, didn't work out for us. When What time was it? Was it 5? It was like 5.30. Yeah, so when we got there, it's packed everywhere, and it was a long wait. Like 45 minutes. Yeah. It smelled really good, and we are going to make it a point to get there, yeah. but... We had our eight-year-old who has zero patience for dinner, <laughs> um, kind of like his dad. Uh, so I said, pick up the beer, because that's what we were there yep. for. Pick the yep. beer up, and then, um, you know, we can go back there and eat anytime. We take Jake with us, whatever. But, yeah, cool little place upstairs, downstairs, and they have a ton of beers that I want to try. And they have a cool, like, pizza thing that they yeah, do. Yeah, looks. it smelled delicious. We didn't bread with them. We go into the store. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. So, um, but the space itself is very small inside of there. The parking is crazy. Like, you have to park at the church, kitty corner. I mean, this just, it was just happening. Yep. And, you know, truthfully, if we would go downtown at 5.30 or 6 to try to get anywhere in a good place, right. that's what it would be the same thing. Yep. So, same, same. But... Obviously, I had Brad do a little something different with picture and a beer, and so now it's not probably going to be what I want it to be. <laughs> it kind of looks disgusting, his versus mine, but... Yeah. Uh, 6% ABV is on the can. IBUs are not, and from untapped, they are 30. They are calling this a robust porter. How excited are you to drink this? Very excited. I love Crack no Jacks. Date. Brad loves baseball. I have my baseball earrings, and if you can't tell, uh, no you head. Can't, they're backwards. I think I did have a little bit of a head when I first pulled. Yeah, it. I had lots. Yeah, kind of caramel <sighs> color head. Um, I would say dark brown. Can't see through it. Uh, no hue. Yeah, just a dark brown. It is not the black. Okay, smell. I did. It smells like you're opening up a box of Cracker Jack. I don't know about that. You don't think so? I smell the peanuts. I smell like, I don't, I don't know if I would say popcorn, but I smell the caramel. Like I, I get some nuttiness really? out of there. Maybe a touch of caramel, but like roasted malts, I think is the biggest thing I get out of this one. All right. Gonna rain on my parade. No, it's a good, like, nut peanut butter smell. And it smells like peanut butter. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. It smells like caramel and nuts. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever had a box of Cracker Jacks? Mm, yes. This is what this smells like. You should know. You're the ball player here. Yeah, and I'm saying roasted malt. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay, taste. Uh, okay. Here's my disclaimer. I had a peanut butter porter <laughs> before I drank this one. <laughs> but I think it could taste more. I, I want it to be a stronger taste on nope. both on both accounts. I want more caramel more of a caramel taste, and I want more of a peanut taste. Well, what are you getting? I'm getting them, but I'm getting just faint hints of them. Not strong enough for me. I think maybe if I had this straight out of draft, it'd be perfect. I'm getting like a smooth, smooth taste, watery, which it kind of should be. Okay. Uh, roasted malts, a hint of maybe caramel, nuts, like a peanut butter, and that's it. Maybe the it's taste more is of gone. a toffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then it's like gone. When I drink it and I smell it, 
it's almost reminds me of the shell, like the, the shell of the peanut. Yeah, the, the crunchy, the crunchy, not the shell of a peanut, but when you crack open a peanut, that brown. C- yeah, like brownish red. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. The covering of the actual <laughs> nut <laughs> that I don't close. like to eat <laughs> yeah. is what that smells like, but. This is really good, and I'm telling you that if I went here to eat, I would definitely order this. Okay. I enjoy this beer. I just would like stronger hints of caramel, stronger hints of peanut. But, I mean, I'm going to give it like a 3.75 because I don't think it's awful at all. I think it taste is, is fine. Yep. I just would like stronger flavors. Yeah. I so, would have to go with a 3.75 also. The I, I think the base is there for it. It just needs to be kicked up. Yep. Like you're yeah. saying. Um I am right. Pe- I, I would have thought that maybe the caramel kind of toffee peanut butter would come out a lot more. Yeah. In it or almost be overdone. Yeah. You know? Um yeah. and it's not. There it's it's and I don't know why I keep going back, but the thing that amazes me about this beer is the smoothest smoothness of it. I, th- I like it though. Over anything else. Yeah. Really. So, nine friends have had this. Average four point three one. Okay. Uh, three hundred and fifty people have had it, or three thousand five hundred people have had it. Average three point five, or jeez. 3.98. Okay. I was reading comments. Yeah, of course. Mike gave it a 4.5. I think I think every beer tastes different on draft. Did he have it on draft? I don't. I mean, like, does it tell us? I think every beer does. I think every beer tastes yeah. better from the draft. I do. That's my opinion. Yeah. So, guess what? I'm going back to Grand Rapids. Tyler... Gave it a 3.5. How nutty and roasty. Yeah, I it's almost like on the roastiness. It's almost like I'm so excited to try it that I almost build myself up for it, you know? Yeah. But it wasn't a disappointment by any means. I'm very excited to visit the Mitten. Yeah. Um, We are going to go back with or without the children, and I would love to have a flight yeah. because it's all baseball themed yep. in there. It's really cool. Well, I, the Mitten. Yeah, I know. Hands on. Um, but it was exciting. Exciting place. Very, very loud. Um, it's The pizza smelled good, and the beer looked like it would yeah. be fun to, to try. So, yeah, if it, uh, and a robust porter should be more roasty, okay. and they did hit that. I would like to see them do something with just, like, a standard porter. Okay. Or something. Maybe they've got it. Yeah. I think that I just was excited because it's baseball season. It's yep. baseball season. So let's have <laughs> some of this, see how we like it. And, um, you know, we tried it. We liked it. Yep. And we got three other ones to drink. I'll take care of them. <laughs> I'm sure. Cool. Maybe. So that'll wrap it up for this review. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing.